Okay, I made another stirred engine. Uh, stirred an engine, sorry. It's, um, I say my own design, but thanks to everybody who's ever posted any stirred engines and how they work online, obviously I took all my guidelines from them. Um, I built it, it's a little project that I just enjoyed making all the woodwork really. It's got a little water tank, a little water feed drips down into the tray. You don't always have to use that, it runs just as well without the water. But uh, I made the tin can engine and I made the, the displacer roughly tw twice the size of the can with about a quarter of an inch top and bottom so as it can move its whole length. And then once I'd done that I moved the displacer up and down by hand and I measured how much the diaphragm or the power pump moved and then I worked out how much I was going to displace the displacer and how much I needed on the crank for the crank to turn. Um, when I only touched the engine it went. As you can hear it runs quite nice. I'm usually like heavy handed when I make things. But I've actually enjoyed making this. It took me time to make four days carving all these little bits of wood. Two wheels are cut out of light ply. I went up our local RC model shop to buy some boards of wood and ply. I get up there and they've only moved. Still, the way they used to run the shop, I can understand that. Okay, it's still close up. The water tank. It's a little drip feed. There's a little clip on the top of that pipe, if you see it there. And you can adjust that, you can blow as fast as you want. You listen to it slow down now, or, or go quieter, as you add the water, it runs a lot smoother. There you go. The, the clack clack clacking noise, for some reason, is the diaphragm, the little rubber balloon. When it's working better though, the balloon's fully inflated and fully deflated, and it runs a lot quieter. There's the excess pipe, that's where the water flows out and into a little sump tank at the bottom. There's an aerial view. Like a little oil well. I hope you can uh, still hear the sound. And the little light on the top by the way, if you notice there's just a little spring runs down from that little mechanism to the middle of the arm. I put it on the middle of the arm, it's not causing any any stress to the machine. And all that is, is a, I don't know if you've ever seen a yo-yo with a little light inside. And as the yo-yo spins, a little spring inside gets flung out off centre and makes the light go. Well, it's the mechanism out of a yo-yo. Thanks to the neighbours next door to keep throwing things over. All presents are gratefully welcomed. So, there's their yo-yo light. Runs really smooth, I'm quite happy with it. My next design now, but I was going to build that one with two beams. But um, the next one's going to be two beams, two engines, and let's see if I can run some off of it. And I think the next one I'll have a piston instead of the old balloon there. Balloon works a treat, but I think next time I'm going to try for plunger. Yeah, it's a bit noisy now again. Now the water has got out of the temperature, the little dripping ain't really fast enough flow so it gets hot and once it gets hot the, the, the plunger doesn't work so nice and you hear the clacking just a bit of rubber not as loud as it sounds if, if you stood back looking at it it's, it's not so bad but bear in mind I've got the camera right on top of it when I put the two wheels when I made them up to balance them obviously the crank is off center but to balance them I put one solid, like a boat, bike spoke, through the middle, then made the crank up and set the wheel up and made it all, chewed it all up. Then when I got it all running I cut the centre um, axle out. So it's a solid little system, it's really, really solid. All this is stuck together with super glue by the way. 3mm light ply. 
all the little joints and all the little rivets and there's no wood or nothing. The only joint that isn't um, metal to metal bearing is the one on the top what the rocker shafts on. And that's a piece of nylon too. There's a drip feed. Drip, drip, drip. And around the other side, a set level is an outlet point which goes to the tank on the bottom. The little light is way too close, it could be a lot further away than that, it don't need a lot to run it. As I say, my next one now is um, going to be a double beam one, hopefully. Little bearings there, that's some um, electrical connections, cut in half, a little screw to adjust for the adjustment. And that's a, a beer can, and a dog food tin as a cooling tray. On the top is another um, beer can for a water butt. All made from light ply, no bars of wood there. 